pick up graphic skills with creativity. The first thing to do is to determine our size, the background size. So by clicking the three dots at the right hand side here, then click on image size. Choose the kind of a background size you want. I want to use YouTube channel, channel banner. Then it will look exactly like this. Then determine the kind of a color background you want to use. So I'm importing the color palette here to this particular space. Then I will put it at one corner. I will click on the background, select the color, and click on the plus sign. I'm using ordinary color, then not a gradient. So click on this uh, color picker, then pick the color you want to use. So I'm selecting this color. Then after selecting the color, I can hide it and I unlock it. So let me hide it, then lock it. After I do it, then the next thing I'm going to do right now is to go to my background i mean go to my gallery then uh, import the element i want to use the image so i'm going to select the image exactly like this now go to the relative position and position to the image to the center as you can see then i will make this one go down a little bit now use the relative position to center well. have it lock then treat it by returning to a uh, 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 gray color so go to color filter and reduce the saturation to zero and this one will give you this to achieve that now go to the text area and uh, type uh, let's say mm, design we have design then we go to the font area We'll go to the font area then we select the kind of a font that we want to use in this area what you are uh, actually you look at the text that can spell out at least or that can show what exactly so now let's select the kind of uh, size uh, uh, font size that we want and the font uh, type so i want to use a morganite morganite then we'll go back, we'll be able to achieve that scene it here. Then we choose the anyone we want because they are families. So we select the kind we want. If we want this, then we choose this. Now go to the size and increase the size exactly like this. Half it spread exactly the way I'm doing it like this. You spread it very good. Then it shouldn't be too much very good then you use your relative position to position to the center then after that the next thing that we're going to do is to send it to the back after giving it a color or before giving the color you send it to the back exactly like this now use your relative position let's increase the size a little bit increase the size a bit then we position it to the center exactly like this Okay, very good so now that we have this then the next thing we are going to do is to copy after copy go to the color click on plus sign and reduce the color to the zero like this then you will have empty space exactly like this so after gotten the empty space go to the stroke and bring on the stroke to be one something like one then we are going to position this then turn on your grid then you position it to the center as you can see now click on this again and we go to the color by using our color picker so we we'll go to the color use the color picker then we choose the kind of color that we want so we want um 
we want this so we want something like this sorry so we go back to our stroke we'll go back to stroke then we select this color so now the one we sent the back so we are going to tap on it and uh, choose the same color exactly like this then you can see what we actually came up with now i'm going to show you step by steps how you can still use another color entirely to achieve this particular piece so now this is just a simple way on how you can make a clean youtube thumbnail on your android smartphone let have this save let that let let's save it uh, just make sure that uh, your dimension is ultra your format is png so you can you can still save it if you want so now what's the nice thing that we're going to do we are going to change our background color by use our color picker then we have this then we go ahead by changing the background color um oh sorry let's import another color palette so we have uh, Or let me maintain that so let, let's assume that uh, we have uh, we have the background color exactly like this and then after gotten this we we'll go to the image yes. I mean the image then we choose a particular color for that so we go with this let go with this Okay, very good then after that we are going to the top one we are going to the grid uh the shock not the normal shock we change it then we go to the background and i have the background being changed as well and let's change the background exactly like this so we have the don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. So you can actually see the different way on how you can change the background to another color of your choice. So you can reduce the color of this as well. Sorry. So you just tap on the text area. And then you go to... Sorry, you go to where the color is go to where the color is then uh, we click on it and we reduce the brightness so that we then we tap on the top one then we tap on the same thing sorry we'll go to the stroke to adjust the, adjust that otherwise we are going to give it light color again so now this is the second one on how we can so now we can just create a simple thumbnail on our Android smartphone using our PC. I hope this is helpful. Please drop your comment on the comment section if this actually helpful or one way or the other. And all the resources used, including the phone, Morganite, and the stock image like this, I will drop everything in the description of this video. Kindly watch and practice. Thanks for sticking around. God bless you. So you can have this save exactly like that. Just go to select the ultra and the PNG. Just save. Thanks for watching once again.